As uh, this uh, topic is uh, concerned, uh, we are c coming to you, Mr. Patrick Popel, in the same perspective. Uh, you're one person who has been very critical about uh, the uh, uh, African continent's uh, total transformation and, of course, living uh, from a supplier of uh, raw materials. Let me put it in, in uh, maybe uh, sending raw materials out there very cheaper uh, to a producer of uh, finished goods. And, of course, uh, I will appreciate your total or uh, holistic perspective on this uh, topic before we enter into some uh, particularities. So first I like, first I like to say that uh, what our colleague said, uh, I totally agree about this, but I don't like to talk about this economical um, situation. So my expertise and also my research is first about security policy and, and uh, geopolitical um, um, yes summaries so the problem is when Africa try to be not only the exporter of this of this raw material and like to be uh, like the industrial states so it will be a target for Western interests we can see now what's happened in Ukraine. We can see what's happened in Ukraine now. We can see we have this war from the West against Russia because Russia is a is a, 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 a country with, with raw materials. This is the problem, and they like to get it. And when Africa go out of this old policy to a new to a new policy to to um, make new contracts to uh, develop their countries into like the West in this in this um, uh, industrial uh, complexes. So it will be a target for uh, for the Western interests. And the the main problem I see when I can when I can um, research about what's happening in Africa. Only, only on the paper. I wasn't every time there, but I can see that there is no um, big structure from continental structure in Africa. So every uh, country are together with the others when there is some problem, security problem, or something else. Now we can see what's happened in uh, Niger after after what's changed now. Yes. So we can see we need an I can say it and like an African spirit. We need uh, the people in Africa from the different ethnics, different religions, different states. They must think together. Before this happened, it's not possible to change in a, in a new political way because then the different countries, when they like to change in this, uh, there will be targets for Western interests because the West needs the resources of Africa. This is the, 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 the fundament of the wealthy of the West. The fundament of, of, of what's happened in the West, the development, was only to get the, the cheap resources from other continents. And when Africa decides to make it, to finish this, so then we are on a, on a on on the step to the a big war, and so before Africa can decide this, Africa must create a structure, a architecture of security, to uh, be ready also for problems with the West, and to uh, keep and to protect their interests. Before, it's like a suicide commando. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Mr. Patrick. Of course, uh, uh, a lot has to be tackled in order to ensure uh, this uh, uh, narrative shift as far as the African continent 
is uh, uh, concerned, uh, and of course, how uh, its uh, economic trajectory can go smoothly without being impeded by either uh, some uh, uh, policies uh, uh, that are actually uh, uh, in place uh, at this particular moment.